To aspirate the digital flexor tendon sheath, particularly in the non-distended sheath, is to use the approach along the abaxial border of the sesamoid. You can feel the sesamoid and roll the vein, abaxial vein artery nerve. You come further palmar and feel the edge of the sesamoid bone, and the needle is actually directed through the, the annular ligament into the back, into the digital sheath. Sometimes you have to withdraw. You might be up against the tendon. And usually you probably need 10 to, at least 10 mils to desensitize the sheath. And now you can see the distension proximally as well as distally. Another approach to the digital flexor tendon sheath that's often more commonly done in the rear limb is the proximal pouch and it is often found directly palm or planter to the dorsal pouch of the fetlock joint in those horses that have a fair bit of distension. You can feel the pouch right there. So essentially it is behind the branch of the suspensory in this location. The needle can be inserted directly into the sheath and the fluid comes out. Similar to the fetlock joint, there's a fair bit of vessels in here and it's not uncommon to get blood with this approach. And you can see the location is very just behind the approach to the, to the fetlock joint. In horses that have distension of the digital sheath, there's often a very defined outpouching just above the deep flexor tendon in the mid pastern area. This can also be an area where you can tap the sheath. It's very superficial. Feel the edge of the deep flexor tendon and the bubble, and you insert the needle parallel to the deep flexor tendon. You want to be on top of the flexor of the tendon into the tendon sheath, like so. See fluid there. Attach your syringe and inject. The carpal canal can be approached from the lateral side. And this is usually the approach we use when we're doing tonoscopy. However, if it's distended medially, which it often is if there's a problem, it can be aspirated on the medial aspect. To make the approach from the lateral side, it's best to pick the limb up. and the landmark is the end of the radius. There's the end of the radius. And there's a depression right here. And the needle is directed along the back side of the radius. Like so. Occasionally it'll be, there'll be distension on this side as well. A lot of times it's good to feel the back of the radius because it's right up along the edge. If it's distended, you'll obtain fluid. If you're going to block it, you can inject it, aspirate, and then it should go easily. The tarsal sheath is located on the medial aspect of the limb and is usually only approached if there's fluid distension. The usual approach is just above the sustentaculum talli, one to two centimeters within this depression uh, of the retinaculum. Usually if there's distension, you insert the needle directly in. If there's no distension, you angle the needle slightly proximally. To enter the sheath. This can be confused with the medial pouch of the tarsal curl joint. It's beneath that outpouching. Fluid should go easily. 
and there should not be a subcutaneous bleed.